My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. As I had stated in my last video, I did go over in the shop and get one of my pieces of protective eyewear and if you all know me you know that I am very capable of mislaying things and not being able to find things so that's why I purchase things by the bulk so that in case one gets mislaid I will have plenty more to grab and use and have plenty more in a place where I'll be able to find them if I can't find one of something so that's just kind of with me so much of how things work so as for this moment you can see that we already got so much of the work done into the whale and so I say this is a time when we're going to go a little down further and do a little work along the mouth which we've already drawn out the line for on it so we got it might even note that the guanacosti wood is so soft that it makes the lines easy to make. And I'd say probably for a moment, we're probably in a place where we can make the nostrils as well, so might try to give that a little try here.
and I'd say a little sneezing just kind of got to me that little bit of dust there did and I say we probably worked along this about as good as it needs to be and got the little hole in the top and the eyelids the nostrils the mouth I say I say that um with just a little work we do I say that um this is just coming along quite the ways and I say I say that um this is just one of those pieces of work comes along little ways I say I decide to kind of like um put a little extra sanding along here to make out the little face and stuff and put in a little time to get the work done I say that um this is just kind of how a little work goes. I say that um, we're getting the sandpaper out just to kind of get rid of all the extra little pencil lines that we do not need. I say, I say that um, this is just kind of special work, I say, to do a little special ways to kind of try to work along what we do and ooh. I say little allergy attacks happening, but can manage that well. I say that this is just kind of like how the work goes and all things we do. I say that um I enjoy this very much and always kind of like the way I can make little things turn out every time I do a project a little differently from the time before and as for how us artists have to do sometimes we have to kind of learn little things about how to do it in a professional way and I say I say that the art can come out ways that we realize it does seeing it all for the better in us and oh kind of like how special work does its way coming along here kind of taking out a little sand along the lines making it so we get up to the top of the head with a little bit of sanding to do and take it down where it reaches to the top and I say I say that like I said after all the rotary tool detail was added we'd be coming back and kind of going along this in these very ways and just kind of sanding away all these different little pencil marks to make the whale kind of the best it can be. And as I learned in the little class I was taking that there's just some, some things where it comes to art where, you know, once you kind of get a hold of things, there are certain things you kind of begin to forget all about if you continue to go about your creation and how that sometimes a little work may not always just come out as what you want it to be, but it's just kind of how God creates things and how we're all just designed in different ways. As the class was called Create a Kingdom, I say, this lady who led the group, she's a painter. She makes all kinds of nice paintings and I'd say I say that there's a lot of talent involved in things. People tell you they wish they could be creative. She probably gives people a much better response to that 
much more positive response than I give people. My response may not necessarily be the one they want to hear, but hers, she's just so more, much more positive, she can tell you, but you are creative. You just don't know how there's, <coughs> and how there's a way in which each of us are somehow. It's always different from one of us to the next. <coughs> we may not all be musical. We may not all be co funny comedians. We may not be all actors and actresses. We may not all be performers or athletes. But we all can just kind of be a little bit in some way creative. We can't always make the best things. We can't always be famous or make things that are viral or make it to the big time or whatever, but I say, I say creativity is a great thing for us all. We all just don't see in ourselves the very things, but too much of what we know, I tell you, we see it in other people. All too often we see what other people are and that's what we'd like to be. We don't always realize how talented we are ourselves. And like when I was in a class in the 10th grade, there was something that was on the subject about having a talent that makes you fit for a job. And I tell you that substitute teacher in the class, she asked me, what is your talent? I told her, I don't have one. She said, oh, surely you do, she said, and everybody does, and I'd say for some of us it's different than it is for others, but I say, I say that, um, you know, we all got good gifts. I'm talking back class about the years of my life I tried to do music and tried to write, record, play, song, sing, rap, and how that was probably something that probably got some good attention from some people, but it wasn't my best thing. According to the Bible, we all use our own gifts to serve God, and I say that that thing right there I just mentioned, it may not have been one of my best gifts. But we find out what they are in these days. I mean, I find out I might even be skilled at some of the wood carving and stuff. And the things that kind of get the most attention, make the most money at things. But I say, I say that um, it's different from one of us to the next. And I believe, according to my Bible, we should all use our own gifts Sometimes we can give God our best when we use our best gifts. It may not always be the same thing as what we see in another person, but it's always what's good for us. Because I'm sure I'd say that, you know, if we all had one talent, who would have another? Because sometimes I say that we gotta got to work our ways and do things as good as we can. I say, I say that there's probably a little place in here where we might kinda get rid of another little spot or two and kinda take it where it's gonna be what it's kinda gotta be. I say that, um, little work shall pay a price for us, get us where we need to be and what to be and say that all oh, kind work I say it's like this challenges here, the challenges of old days, the challenges of old times, but I say I say that perhaps, perhaps for this little session we can be done with the whale series. Seemed like it only took us a couple of days, but I'd say, and maybe even just four videos, but I say, I say that this is probably going to be the finale to the series because 
we pretty much gotten done and shown all the work that <coughs> needs to be done and we'll have little steps to take further on which are quite similar to steps that have been taken on many other projects and shown on video how we did them but this is a little moment when I thank you all for coming on the series and seeing me, seeing what I do, seeing what I make, seeing how I create. And I've got so much more to share and to show as I work a little along the way. So thank you for coming on. Take care. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.